a learner called Peanut After Order. Peanut After Order, right? Yes, yes it is. Um, who's second on the Peanut Chair? Uh, uh, who's Alton? Uh, Paul is second. Ah. What's Alton? Okay. Um, monthly budget review. <clears throat> There's a, there's a uh, revenue page has not been incorporated in tonight because mm -hmm. we haven't received revenue yet um, from any of our taxing municipalities or the state. So we're working out the fundamentals right now. It's a good thing we have a good fundamentals. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And I heard nothing from Paul as far as checks. I'm assuming nothing is outstanding or the Mr. Strange. No, I haven't heard anything. Uh, <coughs> Um, they ran a second set of checks just um, because they got the August ones done, and then the, the folks that started since the September pieces also get those bills in just to pile. So that's what that second hand is coming kind of gotcha. Is what you're passing out different from what you're It is, it's extra, additional. It's got some September pieces on it, okay. whereas the one you got. Um, oh, yeah, it was nine, August. Yeah, okay, mostly nine, nine, nine. Yeah. What's the 51763 for 1314 special loan blessing? Are you paying that in advance? Yeah, let's do it. It's like a down payment. Yeah, but when you have no income coming in, you don't want to draw down your fund balance by uh, $340,000 with it's going to sit in the high school board's fund balance. You know what I mean? That's, it's a combination of transportation and we said. You see that? Mm, yeah. Okay. That's just the billing cycle that is pretty much in the contract. Hmm. You'd think we're post we build. Hmm. I would think we would use the feature before we got built for the feature. We said Scott Aquat, I kind of read from that. We said contract. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I can check that. Yeah, it just seems that uh, to be hit in September, <coughs> early September, for a back to back, that's an August billing. Right. To get before school even starts, be hit for special ed charges and uh, special ed busing charges to that kind of dollar tune seems a little bit excessive. Maybe let's talk to Keith and see what's going on there. Because you know it's going to happen. I mean, if they're not using it, it's just going to the fund balance over there. It's going to sit there. And if we don't have any money coming in, it's not a good thing to draw our fund balance now just to put it in their fund balance. Yeah, I would just draw, you know, refer back to the contract piece again, though, where the three payments of $30,000, <coughs> then there's that catch-up. Three payments of 30%, excuse me. Yeah, and then the there's that catch-up is a yeah. At the end, but you would, think it's, you would think the 30 would be sometime after school has started to ways into it. I mean, we haven't even used any services. We just paid three hundred forty thousand dollars. Okay, let's look into that and see. Sure. Excuse me. I had a question on ten four sixty <coughs> equipment components. It's not a large amount of money, but we're over the hundred percent level. I'm just right, wondering. Those are tech replacement items, and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a budget adjustment before the budget gets formally approved in November. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So. I had the same I had the same question when I was looking at it too. Yeah. All right, any other questions on either the budget or the checks? Here we go. Let's move on. You discuss resolutions, financial institution, 2013-14, OPEB, teacher salary adjustments. All right, the uh, first one is the financial institution resolution that will come to the next meeting in two weeks as a formal action item, mm -hmm. and it's something that uh, we just need to do on an annual basis. So the... Uh, Still going to associate. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Because the, if I recall correctly, the, the bid, when we put it out for RFP, is a, a three-year um, window of working with associated. So. Hmm. It's already been three years? No, no, you got to do it still has to be month, done. Uh, yearly, yearly. yearly. Yeah. Even though if it was a three year. Oh, okay. So, so that's that's what that is. Um, like I said, that'll be an action item in, in two weeks. 
that, that resolution of approving associated. And then we'll also put a statement in the uh, in the meeting book or two as far as associated being recognized as the financial institution of the district. Uh, the second piece uh, related to OPEB. Um, basically, if you recall, last June, so this would have been June of 2012, uh, we had a, a, maybe it was May, regardless, um, either late spring, early summer 2012, um, when we as an administration and, and board agreed to set up um, a trust fund for post-employment benefits, um, we worked with CESA 6 on that. Basically, they came down to the meeting, um, met with the, the Personnel and Finance Committee, and, and talked about a, a couple of things. So there's three pieces to make this very simple. There's three pieces to that, that trust piece. There's CESA 6 who organizes the trust with a number of school districts across the state. The second piece is there's a bank involved that basically when we contribute to, to that, that's who we send the check to. Mm -hmm. And then the third part is um, there's an investment advisor um, and I believe it's Morgan Stanley, and uh, they're out of Green Bay right now. So of those three pieces, the second piece, the bank that basically is the, um, the funnel to for, for the money and stuff money is stepping away. Okay? Oh, okay. And so Associated, who was that bank, is stepping <clears throat> away. And they, from what I was told, are actually planning to go into competition with CESA 6. Oh to start their own OPEB type of thing. So what CESA 6 did is they put it out for bids, RFP, and um, BMO Harris prevailed in that bidding process. Yeah. And so you could see one of the handouts in there talked about um, the costs, in contrast to the costs from last year to this year. And then he also got a legal opinion on that too, as far as the process. Yeah. So, coming to you in two weeks is to formally approve for this district that transition from Associated Bank as that trust officer to be a lawyer's. And then the target date for the whole trust to get that started um, is November 1st. So they, they notified the districts with the, the formal paperwork today, or I shouldn't say today, about a week and a half ago, hoping for board actions in either September or October and then to move forward in November. So if they're going into competition with them, at what point do you look at uh, associated next year? See what advantage there is. Okay. The the tricky piece about associated um, that sets it apart from the group that we're currently working with is that on initial indications, um, associated would organize the districts, also handle the money, and perhaps even look at the investment angle of it. So what I'm saying is, is the arrangement we have right now, we have three different entities involved with the associated piece. The last thing I heard, and they may have thought about it, for sure they're going to be involved in two of the three, if not three of the three. So. Well, I read it all over and <coughs> protected themselves well. <laughs> yeah, yes, they did.